So I'm back out at Veyu Aviation where I'm going to be doing ground school, and apparently I'm going to be doing ground school because I just went in and signed up for it. The, the funniest thing that happened is I forgot a mask at home when I came out, and uh, normally we carry extra masks in the car, but the only mask I had is this one, which is um, nautical themed. So <laughs> I'm signed up now. I have all the gear in my Veyu Aviation bag. They give you a bag, which is kind of sweet. Uh, but yeah, I have all everything I need for to, for ground school, which starts on Thursday. So it's becoming real. Let's see. I, worst case scenario, maybe I'll just give up and like try to become an ATC or a BFR advisory person on the radio or something like that. I don't have my clearance back yet, so we'll have to see how that goes. All right, it's Thursday. Uh, the first ground school class starts in a couple of hours, but I wanted to show everybody what I got in my bag. So I got the bag from Veyu Aviation, which I have it right there. Uh, and in the bag, they gave me everything I'm going to need, apparently, for ground school, which includes, but it's not limited to, uh, we got a couple of uh, VFR maps here. That's what those look like, slightly. Um, we get two because, I guess... Kamloops is kind of split between these two different maps. We have a paper, it's actually kind of a cool, it's like a papery, cardboardy E6B flight computer, so that's kind of a cool thing. Um, I already bought the electronic version of it, but you know, we'll gloss over that. Oh, we have the official ICAO chart rule that it's not going to focus on. Okay, I'll hold it back here. We have a square aviation plotter. Um, that'll be useful for something probably. This is the manual for the Cessna 172N, um, the one that had the engine problems, that the, which is why Cessna replaced it with the 172P. That one. From Transport Canada, we have the Aeroplane Flight Training Manual. It's been revised, as you can see. Uh, we have this book here. This is the ground school book. This is from the ground up, which I guess is a fairly common uh, North America book thingy. Uh, here we have uh, the aeronautical information. I'm looking at the preview down there. Aeronautical information manual, um, which is still not in focus, um, provided by Transport Canada um, that has aeronautical information. Excitingly, my logbook. This is my, my pilot logbook that is currently completely empty, but eventually, hopefully, it will be filled with many exciting journeys and things of like where I went and what I was doing and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, ground school starts in just under two hours. Um, so I have <laughs> less than that before I need to leave. Uh, but yeah, I gotta pack all this stuff back up in the bag now uh, and uh, get ready to do flight school. It is, the day has finally arrived. Here we go. Okay, so I just got out of my first uh, ground school course. Uh, I'm out here back at the flying club where Veyu Aviation is. And uh, yeah, it was good. It was a lot of good information. I actually learned some stuff that I, I had heard of but didn't actually put it together before. But yeah, so that's that's my first one over now. It was just like some introductory stuff. You know, we talked a bit about weight and balance. We talked a bit about uh, um, general like parts of an airplane and whatever else. Uh, so it was pretty chill, it was pretty, uh, it was pretty good. This is the room that we're in for flight school. It's pretty Spartan, uh, you know, it's a small flying club and a small uh, aviation school, but uh, it's been good so far. Um, let's see, <laughs> we were told last week what we were going to be talking about tonight, I just can't remember what it is, so uh, hopefully uh, everything goes well. Here we go. So it's Thursday, January 13, and one of the things that, uh, ground school's going well, uh, but one of the things that I did not anticipate is just how tired I would be with the puppy of house. So I keep, I keep like fighting to stay awake in class. I'm pretty sure I might have dozed off a couple times in class tonight. I felt feel really bad because it's it's not like it's boring or anything like that. I'm just like super tired. Still, it's going well, and uh, still haven't got my medical back. So don't. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna wait until I have my medical in hand before I start booking actual flying lessons. But um, yeah, things are going well so far, and. Um, yeah, here is a gratuitous dog shot. He's so cute. Guess what came in the mail today? My medical certificate. I am now been legally cleared with category one medical, no less. That means I am medically cleared to crash any plane in Canada. That was the last big thing that I wasn't sure about. The last big thing I could do ahead of time. Now there's nothing stopping me. Now it's like, okay, now I have to try and go through with it. So yeah. That's it. I can actually start now that I have this. I can actually start booking uh, flying lessons. I didn't have to wait till the end of ground school to start booking flying lessons. So I'll probably start booking flying lessons 
Maybe when it's less icy out. Here we go. I got that medical certificate, so... So it's January 30th, and I am just going to work on wrapping up this week, this month's video. But I wanted to just say a few things about uh, the past month of my kind of a recap of my past month of ground school. It's been good. It's been really good. So I'm, I'm glad I prepared as much as I did because there's a lot of stuff that I was able to kind of um, at least get a little bit familiar with. And then the great thing about ground school is that ground school is actually clearing all the stuff up for me that I kind of know bits and pieces of, but hadn't, hadn't been able to put it together. So that's been awesome. The big problem is there's so much to know uh there's just there's a lot going on there's a lot going on uh so we'll see how it goes but now that i have my medical clearance there's really no reason i can't start flying originally i was thinking about building hours after i finished ground school because i'm like okay well i'm not even gonna f get through ground school then what's the point but ground school is gonna be a couple months yet i could have hours in the air between now and then um, yeah, so I might, might start flying, but we'll see. That's, I'm, I'm thinking maybe before the end of February to maybe start, see if, see if I can get a time book to go actually flying. So, I mean, obviously it's going to be weather dependent. Obviously I can't go at night because I'm not night rate, won't, won't be night rated. So we'll have to be during the day on a weekend. Um, it's going to be my, really my only opportunity to go. Um, so hopefully, hopefully it all works out, but I'm thinking maybe sometime in February, fingers crossed if all goes well, maybe I'll get in an airplane. It's becoming real now. This is pretty wild. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go finish editing this video now so I can get it posted. But yeah, I'm going to go do that now. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in a month. Okay, bye.